Hi, this is the current model Angle MTV 35V fridge freezer, 32 litres capacity. Uh, a great little fridge for a couple of people to go away for the weekend. So let's have a closer look at it. Hit it. Hi, Kevin from Snowy's Outdoors here. What I've got here is the current model Engel MTV 35F fridge freezer, 32 litre capacity. Uh, what I'm going to do now is to show you some of the features on the outside of the cabinet. Okay, up on top here, the lid, uh, nice finish with a gunmetal grey, uh, a couple of little places to put some cups and a few loose odds and ends. On the corners of the fridge, we have these heavy duty corner protectors. We've got a nice strong handle here, which can be taken off, can be removed, can be turned upside down, whatever you like. And of course, we've got a very strong positive action catch that we can lock the lid down. And if you have a look around the side here, you can see a little hole where you can put a padlock in. A uh, handle up on top of here to lift the lid up. So before we have a look inside, let's look at the dimensions of the cabinet. Including the handles, we've got an overall length of 74.8 centimetres. We've got a width this way of 36.4 centimetres, and we've got an overall height of 40.8 centimetres and of course the cabinet weighs 21 kilos. Okay so let's have a quick look inside the fridge now. Now remember it's a 32 litre capacity fridge. It has an overall length of 38 centimetres, it has a width of 27 centimetres and of course it's got a depth of also 27 centimetres. The wall thickness of this fridge is 4 centimetres with a high density polyurethane finish. Now inside the fridge we can stand some bottles up. A milk bottle stands up quite easily. You can see it's a bit lower than the lid, so that's no problem. Wine bottle, however, on this model fridge is a little bit too tall. You can see it's a bit high, but we can easily lie that down. So it keeps the wine nice and cool. Take these two back out again. You can easily remove the fridge basket. That way you can do this easily cleaning inside. You've got a reinforcing piece around the side there. And of course, just here, you have got a small LED light, which turns itself off as soon as the lid is closed. Okay, so I'll just pop the basket back in again. Close the lid down. And we'll just have a bit of a look at the business end of the fridge. Okay, now on the business end of the fridge, you can see we've got some vents here just to allow some good ventilation. We've got two sockets here. The left-hand one is a 12-volt socket. The right-hand one is a 240-volt socket. Plug it in, it's quite easy. Just pop the plug straight in there like that for the 12 volt. You have actually have got an extra fuse sitting inside this plug here, just in case you have a short. You've also got the main fuse just there, which is a 10 amp fuse as well. With the 240 volt plug, same sort of thing. Just pop the plug straight into there and then plug it into power and she's ready to go. Okay, so we're just gonna have a look at the control panel. So I'll turn the fridge around so I can see it a bit better. Very easy to use, a simple knob up here. Just turn it around, you'll see the fridge will start up and you can adjust the temperature. See, as I'm turning the temperature around, uh, it'll go right down to minus 18 or back up again, depending on what you want it to be set at. So just let it finish flashing and we'll hit the mode button twice and that goes to high battery protection, off for no battery protection at all, and once again to low battery protection. Once again, wait till it stops flashing and it'll set itself at that point. Now, just to explain the battery protection system, when you have it set at low, that means it'll draw more current out of your battery, which is ideal if you want to use it for an auxiliary battery, then the fridge will cut out. If you want to set it to high, it will cut out sooner. So that would be a better system for your starter motor battery. If you want to monitor the battery systems yourself, then you can just turn it off and the fridge will continually run. Now, these models have the Soa Fuji swing motors in them, very reliable motor, a current draw of between 0.5 and 2.6 amps. Uh, great little fridge, ideal for two people or a small family to go away camping, and I'd highly recommend it. Okay, that's it for me for now. If you want to get any more information, check out our website, snowies.com.au, where we have the lowest prices every day. If you've got any questions, chuck a comment down below. If you like what you see, you can subscribe up here. If you want to watch some more videos, check them out just here.